all right welcome to my youtube channel i am precious Ugweze, and in this video we are going to look at symmetric properties of roots you recall that we have discussed the uh, um, quadratic roots where we said that every quadratic equation which is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero that the quadratic equations are usually you know they usually have two roots which we decided to call alpha and beta and then we established that there's a relationship between these roots and the constants of every quadratic equation where we said that uh, alpha plus beta is equal to minus b over a and we said also that alpha beta is equal to c all over a okay now we have also noted that there are some relations that uh, involve alpha and beta which we can determine even without knowing the value of alpha and beta differently and so those type of relations or those relations are called symmetric uh, relations okay so examples of such relations include alpha squared plus beta squared alpha minus beta even um, alpha cube plus beta cube and so on and so forth there are many of them one over alpha plus one over beta is one of them and then there are others okay so these relations are called symmetric and we can now find their values even without knowing the value of alpha and beta differently which is supposed to be the case you know for us to find the value of this we ordinarily should know the value of alpha and that of beta and then substitute into this to get our answer but with the help of the symmetric properties of roots we can do that even when we do not know the value of the roots differently okay so and how do we do this we do this by trying to write any of these symmetric properties you know into another form where it will now contain alpha plus beta and alpha beta okay so because however the equation is even if you cannot solve or you do not know the value of the um the roots differently you should know the sum of the roots using this formula you should also know the sum the product of the roots okay so if we can rewrite any of these relations to contain alpha plus beta and alpha beta then we'll be able to resolve what we have and so we are going to quickly do a few of them now before we go into example okay so i'm going to begin with the first one here alpha squared plus beta squared now if i want to get the value of this all i need to do is just to square the alpha plus beta okay so if i square alpha plus beta now remember that this is not the same as this okay but if i open this bracket i am going to obtain this and all i need to do is to make this the subject of the formula and i would have gotten what i want so let's quickly do that if we open this bracket we are going to have alpha squared plus two alpha beta then plus beta squared okay and so like what i just said now you can see that we now have alpha squared plus beta squared here so all we need to do is to take this one to the other side of the equation and when we do that we have gotten what we are looking for and so if you do that you would get that alpha squared plus beta squared is actually equal to alpha plus beta all squared then minus 2 alpha beta and that's exactly what we are looking for okay so now you can see that this relation now has alpha plus beta and alpha beta so and all you need to do is to make your substitution when you have the value of this and then the value of this and you will get uh, your solution and um, in in any case for others if you want to get alpha cube plus beta cube all you need to do is also to expand this other one sorry the cube you would have to expand alpha plus beta all cubed and if you do that expansion you are going to get the value you are looking for which is going to be alpha plus beta all cubed minus three alpha beta 
into alpha plus beta okay and that's what you're going to have and then there are others um assuming you have alpha squared minus beta squared of course you know that this one by difference of two squares is going to give us alpha plus beta and then alpha minus beta but we do not know what alpha minus beta is and so to get the value of alpha minus beta all you need to do is to take the square of this one also and if you take the square of that that will give you the value you are looking for let's quickly do that here so the square of this is going to give us alpha squared and minus 2 alpha beta then plus um, you know beta squared okay and so from here you can have that this is the same thing as uh, alpha squared plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta and then remember that uh, this one we have gotten the value to be this okay and so if you substitute there you have that your alpha beta alone is going to be the square root i'm taking the square to this side now it's going to be the square root of uh, if i substitute this here now i am going to have alpha plus beta all squared and then minus two alpha beta minus another two alpha beta that is going to give us minus four alpha beta and of course now we have gotten what we are interested in that's a, a, a relation where you have alpha plus beta and alpha beta and okay of course this is uh, what we we'll need and then we are going to go into some examples okay so let's look at the examples we have all right so now we have this example here it says if the roots of the equation 5x squared minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0 where a alpha and beta are the roots then we should find the values of all of this okay so what are we going to do now we're going to lay the background i have already done that by showing us that the first thing is to see how we can write whatever relation we are asked to find its value you know to contain alpha plus beta and uh, alpha beta it can just be alpha plus beta alone or alpha beta alone or both so in any case that's our interest and so what do we do when we are giving so this kind of problem we quickly we start so the first one we have now first of all before you go into this you should know that the um, that you are going to need alpha plus beta and alpha beta in the journey so let's quickly get those two first Okay, so our alpha beta or alpha plus beta is equal to minus b over a. And from the equation here, our b is minus 3. So we have minus minus 3 all over our a is 5. And that will give us 3 all over 5. While our alpha plus beta, sorry, alpha beta this time is c all over a. And from this equation, our c is 4 and our a is 5 so we have 4 over 5 and 3 over 5 as our alpha beta and alpha plus beta okay so now let's begin so for the first one now we have 1 all over alpha plus 1 all over beta so what do we do here the simple thing to do whenever you have fractions is to first of all simplify try to see if you can join the two fractions by getting the lcm so if we get the lcm of this that will be alpha beta and when we simplify this we'll have beta up here plus alpha and that's the same thing as alpha plus beta all over alpha beta which will quickly give us um, if we substitute now the value of alpha plus beta is 3 over 5 all over 4 over 5 and then that is going to give us um, 3 over 5 times 5 over 4 which is finally equal to 3 all over 4 okay and that's the required solution so all right and then for the example 2 here we have that we should find the value of alpha squared okay this one i have determined what it is before and we said it is alpha plus beta 
all squared minus alpha beta so all you need to do here put your alpha plus beta which is 3 over 5 and square then minus 4 all over 5 and so this is going to give us um, if we try to resolve this that is 9 over 25 and then minus 4 over 5 okay so if you take LCM here you are going to have um, the LCM is 25 and that's going to give us 9 minus 5 times 4 is 20 okay and so our final answer for that is a minus 11 all over 25 and that is the solution for this okay all right so having seen that we will go to the next example which is number three okay so you can see that alpha plus one times beta plus one and that's going to give us okay so you need to open the bracket here and if we do that we are going to have alpha times beta will give us alpha beta alpha times one is alpha one times beta is beta and one times one is simply one okay um and that's what we are going to have okay so and what do we do now try to bring everything together of course it's already uh, they have uh, grouped themselves so we just substitute alpha beta is 4 over 5 plus alpha plus beta is uh, 3 over 5 then plus 1 and then of course we can put this over 1 um, and that's going to give us if we sum this or we can just leave it as 1 if we sum this we are going to have 7 all over 5 plus 1 and 7 over 5 is 1 whole number 2 over 5 so if we add one to that we'll have two whole number two all over five and that's the solution for example three okay what about example four four says alpha squared over beta plus beta squared over alpha okay so quickly we look at that <clears throat> alpha squared over beta plus beta squared over alpha okay like i said earlier whenever you have a fraction two fractions the very first call should be can we join the two fractions together and if we do that here yeah, we'll have alpha beta and this is going to give us alpha times alpha squared which is alpha cube plus this is going to give us beta cube and we already have an expression for alpha beta sorry alpha cube plus beta cube which gave us alpha plus beta all cubed minus 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta now remember that you don't need to cram any of this all you need to do is just to you know you by reason of usage this can become part of you otherwise in any exam or whatever all you need to do to get this just take the cube of alpha plus beta and then later on you make this the subject and you always get this okay so and this is all over alpha beta okay so if we substitute here we are going to get that uh, we will have 3 over 5 all cubed minus 3 times alpha beta is 4 over 5 then times again alpha plus beta is also 3 over 5 and then this is all over 4 over 5 and what is that going to give us so if we come up here we are then going to get that this is 9 uh, 3 cubed is 27 all over 5 cubed is 1 2 5 minus okay if we multiply this this is 12 36 so we'll have 36 all over 25 and that is over uh, 4 over 5 and that's going to give us if we join these two brackets together what are we going to get we will uh, get that of course if you multiply this by 5 that's up and down here you are going to have that this is the same thing as 27 over 125 minus 5 multiplying this is going to give us um, 180 
180 over 125. So I just decided to make the denominators to be the same so that I can easily simplify. And that will give me 27 minus 180. And that is equal to minus 100 and um, minus 153 all over 125. And this is being divided. And then I can change this to multiplication, which will give me 5 over 4. Okay, and finally, if we simplify this, 5 will go. 5 here is 25. And that will give us minus 153 all over 25 times 4 is 100. And then um, that is the required solution. Okay, so and the other example we have is also just similar to all of this. Okay, so and I would allow you to take care of that one which is um, very straightforward. Okay, so remember I said if it's a fraction, all you need to do is you bring the, simplify the fraction, and then you apply your alpha plus beta and the beta alpha. Okay, so, and that's where we're going to end it for this video. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, like, comment, and share our YouTube videos, and we'll see you in our next class. Bye.